Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and we have just managed to max out our gold. We officially have 10 million gold inside of our storages and we are going to be upgrading something very shortly inside of this episode guys. We are so, so close to a maxed out Town Hall 11 in terms of all of our defenses. So if you just want to check this out guys, let's just go into the village edit mode, remove everything inside of here check it out of course we do need to max out our heroes but forget about the heroes for a second the only defenses we have left to max out i believe let's just scroll through guys the only defenses we have left to max out are the four mortars and i think that might be yeah, actually the four mortars and a single cannon so what i want all of you guys to do we are going to upgrade one of these things in this episode and i want you guys to take a guess in that comment section is it going to be the cannon or is it going to be the mortar? Let's see how many of you get it right, guys. We're not going to upgrade it just yet. We're going to wait a few moments and we're going to show you a couple of these massive loot raids. So take a guess in that comment section. Is it going to be the mortar? Is it going to be the cannon? Or could we be a fibbing? Could we be a little fibber, guys? Are we going to upgrade three of those level nine walls to level 10? As I said, take a guess in that comment section. Let's see which one of you get it right. So for those of you that missed the first episode of the day, it was basically me explaining why we didn't do videos over the last two days. And it was basically because we lost our family pet, guys. We had a little dog called Ruby, a little pug, half pug, half cavalier. And she passed away very suddenly a couple of nights ago, guys. And basically, I just decided not to do videos for the last 48 hours. And loads of you actually asked me, Tony, what does your dog look like? So I'm going to get the most recent photo I have of her up on screen right now. So there it is guys, that is Ruby, that was Ruby, RIP Ruby, I really do hope, I really pray that she is in a better place. So what we're going to do right now in this episode, as I said, we are going to show you some of the massive loot raids we have been finding. And we've actually pushed up about 200 trophies because as I said, I didn't play for a few days and now of course we're back. So check out this attack log guys, we have won every single one of our attacks of course. We are inside of the Champions 1 League, but check out some of these loot raids, look how big some of the raids are. Some of them are pushing very close to a million gold, a million elixir. And of course, some of them are huge amounts of dark elixir as well. Let's see what the biggest one is. This seems to be one of the biggest. Over half a million elixir inside of this. Check it out. It's a relatively, relatively maxed out base. Not too many of the, def uh, the defenses are low level. You've got, what have you got? You've got a level 1 Eagle Artillery and level 3 Inferno Towers. Apart from that, the majority of the defenses, I think, apart from the air defenses, are pretty much maxed out. Actually, no, not, not really maxed out, but you know what? They're all decent levels, but check it out, guys. We are using a bowler healer attack strategy, and of course, we've got a single pecker and a couple of wizards. So these are the sorts of bases we are currently finding inside of the Champions 1, Champions 2 League, and it doesn't really take that long to find them. Maybe a, a minute or maybe a two-minute search, and you come across bases like this, which are so close to a million in loot. So we're actually going to be attacking from the bottom of the base here. Now, for any of you that did miss the first episode, as I said, we also announced that the 600,000 subscriber giveaway ended yesterday, but we are only at 580,000 subscribers. So this is the deal I'm gonna make with you guys. We are gonna be doing the original giveaway, and we are also going to be doing a brand new giveaway. Now, none of them are going to end until we hit 600,000 subscribers. So if you want to enter the brand new giveaway, all you need to do is leave a like right now on this video to show some support to the channel. Subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. Now there is a brand new link in the description box down below. Hit the link, hit enter, and you will be entered into both giveaways. So check it out guys, we had to use the free spell really early because the single target Inferno Tower locked onto my king and unfortunately, loads of my bowlers got damaged because we basically used the single target Inferno Tower, the free spell on that instead of using it on the multi-target Inferno Tower. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. We still came really close, I think, to triple starring this base. I'm not really too sure. I think we get something like 90%, which is pretty insane considering it is a Town Hall 11, and I didn't have nothing inside of the Clan Castle. I'm not really even trying for a three-star, guys. We're just trying to get as much loot as we can in as little time as possible. Now, using this bowler attack strategy costs so much Dark Elixir, but when you come across raids like this, it really does become worth it. So let's just go double speed here, guys. Check it out. The Queen is going to kill that Wizard Tower there. She's going to take out the Cannon. Take out that Gold Collector. Let's go Quad Speed now because the Queen is just about staying alive. Check her out. She just clutched that health there. Takes out so many more buildings. Goes and takes out that final Gold Collector before the time runs out inside of the raid. Unfortunately, it definitely would have been a triple star. But of course, we did run out of time. 89%, but check that loot. 
So let's just show you one more of these attacks, guys, before we do go and, of course, spend our 10 million gold. Check it out. We come across a Town Hall 10. Now, you don't find really too many Town Hall 10s up here in the Champions 1, Champions 2 League anymore. And I'm sure once you go into the Titans League, it's going to be very rare to find a Town Hall 10 base. And, of course, every single one of them are very close to being maxed out. But check this out, guys. We're going to drop in a couple of bowlers just to make, you know, a little bit of a funnel there. Trying to send in those wall breakers didn't really work, so we're just going to send in the entire army via this little hole here, so let's go. Just going to drop a couple of archers around the outside of the base first, though, to get some extra percentage points. Now we are ready. The entire army should be going in in a few seconds time, guys. There it is. The king is going to go down first as the tank. And, of course, that little army of bowlers is going to be dropped down just behind. Now, for those of you that don't know, the bowler is still currently the number one troop inside of the game. It is the most popular troop currently, way more popular than the Valkyrie. And in fact, it's probably one of the uh, the easiest troops to use because if you just spam in the bowlers, get a couple of healers on them, make sure you bring a free spell for any multi-target Inferno Towers, make sure you take out the core of the base as fast as you can, then you've got a very good opportunity at three-starring Town Hall 10s and even three-starring completely maxed out Town Hall 11s. Now, of course, time has to be on your side because with me... I find that I get a lot of 90% two stars, guys, because I really don't like using my time efficiently. But as I said, I'm not after three stars. I don't use any clan castles in a, any of my raids. I literally never use a CC, guys. I don't even use all of my spells sometimes. I'm all about doing the raids as fast as I can and trying to save as much loot as possible. Now, of course, this is definitely not a great army to use if you are trying to upgrade your heroes, but I'm not currently trying to upgrade them. We will be trying to upgrade them once we get inside of the Titans League, guys. I think I'm going to stop using this army, and we may start to use a giant wizard attack strategy just to, you know, get some more loot. So let's go double speed inside of this raid once again. The Grand Warden has just gone down, but the Queen... Oh, no, the Queen's also down. It's just a couple of bowlers left, guys. Check it out. Two bowlers. Can we get that gold, though? That is the question. Let's see if we can get that gold storage. So the bowler's going to take out the Wizard Tower, do a little bit of damage to the Archer Tower. There goes the Spell Factory, guys. And here we go. They are about to arrive onto that gold storage. Going to pick up 100% of the loot inside of this game, inside of this raid, guys. Check out the loot on the left-hand side. Only 1,300 left, and there it is. We ended it there, guys. Over 700,000 gold in Elixir, and of course, close to 2.5k DE. So I think it's time to do an upgrade. So we've got 10 million gold, 7 million elixir. I think with that elixir, we can also upgrade something inside of our research center. So let's do the research center first, guys. Don't forget to go down below in that comment section and take a guess. Are we going to upgrade the mortar? Are we going to do the cannon? Or am I going to be cheeky and do a couple of walls? So we've maxed out every single one of the elixir troops. They are all completely maxed out. Of course, the dragon, the pecker, the baby dragon, and the miner are maxed out. Now we have a choice of doing the lightning spell, the heal spell, the jump spell, or the free spell. Now the free spell is going to cost 8 million elixir. So we cannot do the free spell. And then of course we can also spend some of our dark elixir. And upgrade some of those. We've also got maxed out dark troops guys. So there isn't a single troop inside of the game. Which we have left to max out. It is just down to the spells. And you know what? I think we're going to go with a hill spell. So I use the hill spell a lot now. So let's max that out guys. That is going to go to level 6. I believe level 6 is actually the max level. Can we check? Yes, it is. So that is going to max level. And then, of course, all we have left is the lightning, the jump, and the uh, the free spell. I'd like to do the free spell. That only needs to go one more level as well. So we got 68,000 of that Dark Elixir. Now, of course, the next hero upgrade is going to be... I think it's going to be the Queen. She's going to cost 135,000 Dark Elixir. So maybe it's time to upgrade our heroes to level 30. Or we may even do a little gem spree. So let's get this gold spent now, guys. 10 million gold. You know what? There's only one cannon left to upgrade. Where is it? Where is that cheeky cannon, guys? We've upgraded seven of the eight cannons to that brand new level 14. Level 14 was brought into the last update. So there's one cannon remaining. There it is. Level 13. Officially, guys, that is it. We have upgraded every single one of the defenses inside of the game. Apart from, of course, those four level 8 mortars. They are the only defense left to max out. So we have 2.2 million elixir, 68,000 dark elixir, 1.5 million gold. But let me just go in for a live attack, guys. I want to show you a great army that you can use. So just drop in eight bowlers and another eight bowlers there. So that's a total of 16 bowlers, two rage spells, one free spell. Four earthquake spells are definitely what you need to bring, guys. And then I go with a healer, six wizards. So we're going to gem that. 
Then we go with a P.E.K.K.A. and a healer. We're going to gem that. Then we go with six wall breakers and a healer. So we bring three healers in total. We then go with two archers and we bring five giants, guys. And then you're going to finish off with a couple more wizards and, of course, a single archer. That is the entire army ready. We have the heroes down. We've got the spells. Oh, we haven't got the heroes, actually. Hold on a second, guys. Going to need to gem the heroes as well. So gem the king and, of course, gem the queen. That is the army ready. Let's get this going inside of a live attack. So here we go guys, gonna find ourselves a battle here, let's see what we can find inside of the Champions 1 League. I think this is the first battle that's gonna be inside of the Champions 1 League since we just returned to it a few moments ago. Now there's a lot of Dark Elixir inside of there, but we're not just after Dark Elixir. I do want some decent Golden Elixir as well, so we'll be back in a few moments time once we find a base worthy of attacking. So check it out guys, we've just landed on this Town Hall 11, now it's got a single target Inferno Tower, a multi-target Inferno Tower, which is great, but there is over a million loot inside of this base, and loads of it is inside of the Collectors, which is lovely, that's what I want to see. Loads of it though, also inside of those, um, those storages, so we're going to start off guys by of course dropping some archers down, just seeing if we can pick off a couple of these buildings, and yeah, it's going to be a nice start to the actual raid guys, getting three buildings over there, that is some extra percentage points. Gonna drop down this archer here, we should have that because the expo is set to ground and air. Now I'm gonna attack from the left hand side of the base over here because that is where the eagle artillery is and I want to take that down as quick as I can. Now obviously the inferno towers are there as well. Oh no! We just made a massive mistake there guys, we didn't break in those walls but it's okay, we've got wall breakers. So we're gonna drop in a couple of wall breakers there and drop in three over here. Now I'm gonna start off by using three of the giants over here and using four... Oh no 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 wizards! Using a couple of the wizards. Gonna drop in one healer as well, guys. Just to try and keep those giants alive. Whilst these healers and the wizards can see if they can take down some of this gold. Now, as I said, remember, we're all about the loot. I do not care about the victory as long as we get the one star. So there it is, guys. Now we're gonna drop in the other giants over here, of course. Going with the king, the queen, and the grand warden. Send in the four Harry Potters. And then we're gonna drop in the bowler army. Now, these bowlers should be able to pretty much make it into the center. Now, we've already lost a healer. Bear in mind, we're gonna drop down the... Um, the Rage spell just in front of the King over there. So here we go. The troops are going to make their way into the center. We're going to pop that King's Ability nice and early. Bowlers should make their way in now. We're going to drop the Free spell on that multi-target Inferno Tower. And then we're going to pop the Grand Warden's Ability. But the King, unfortunately, has been targeted by the, uh, the single-target Inferno Tower. I don't know if we're going to get one star here because the Bowlers have completely messed up. But the Queen's on the Town Hall, which is perfect. The Queen is going to take down the Town Hall. Gonna pop our ability, gonna get a two star guys, nice easy raid. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of that Dark Elixir or maybe only a small amount of it, but 52%. You know what, not too bad considering, and we got about 600,000 loot. Plus the loot bonus guys, so not too bad, not too bad. So that is gonna be the end of the episode. Of course, we did just upgrade that final cannon to level 14, meaning the only defenses left to max out inside of this base are those four mortars. For anyone wondering, we have a 940 million gold grab, so we are closing in on that 1 billion. I will see you very shortly in a few hours time for another episode, guys. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out.